what's going on YouTube Andy here cut and clean lawn care and real quick we're gonna talk about this trailer real fast now you wouldn't consider this like Hey, Johnny Headbones, you wouldn't consider this like a high-end trailer, would you? No. Would you no. consider it a low-end trailer? It's entry-level for sure. Entry-level on the action? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, and the reason why, here's a good visual right here. These are two-foot on centers. Mm -hmm. That wraps all the way around, so the floor joists are two-cent on centers, the walls are two-cent. Yeah. Step up when you need to go 16-inch on centers, because with the... Uh, just tightens everything up a little bit. It does, because I had to replace a lot of the floor studs. Yep. I didn't replace them, just added some stuff here on the bottom. Yeah, because that runs, like he says, around this way, not straight with the trailer, like in line with the wheels. So one of the things we had to do, because the C-channel right here and the floor itself would sag real bad when the mowers would go over and we would walk over. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's built like crazy. So he had to take it in to the shop where he bought the trailer and he had them add a channel down the middle, not all the way down the trailer, but like where the mowers are. And now it's completely buttoned up and does not move. So that's one of the things they should have added in the first place, but obviously entry level level trailer, you know, they're gonna do the bare minimum of kind of what they got going on. Yeah. Add some lights. Yeah, the lights are cool. The lights are cool. We don't even work in the dark, but it sure helps out in here. No, it's nice to have, dude. But yeah, the floor for sure, because this floor was pretty bad, but. Yeah, that's it. I just wanted to talk about this trailer real quick because he did a video on it. And if you haven't checked it out, check out the Lawn Care Guy YouTube channel. If you guys like what I'm doing over on my channel, you can get the behind the scenes stuff and a different point of view from what Randy's got going on as well. Link will be at the top of the description. If you guys want to go subscribe to that, go subscribe to that. And one of the things I didn't mention, and I'm sure you guys are dealing with it too, but today so far it is going to be the hottest day of the year. trimmer noise here in kansas city we have 103 degrees with 112 heat index so which means it's probably going to get up to like 325 you know nice little pizza pizza cooking weather but yeah it's going to be a hot one but it comes with the territory i've done it before i can do it again who cares i don't care if it's hot i don't care if it's cold just get stuff done man and it's not the heat for me I care about. I don't care about being hot and sweating. It happens. It is what it is. I'd be out on my boat if I wasn't out here. I'd be sweating either way. The issue is, man, the trimmers have a hell of a time starting when this enclosed trailer starts getting super, super, super hot. That is the headache. I can't stand when that happens. It drives me crazy.
tell you what, it's so nice not to have this floor buckling like crazy in this trailer anymore. Feels a little safer, you know what I'm saying? Tell you guys what though, a guy had a pretty, pretty good weekend, especially Friday and Saturday. Friday went to Watkins Mill Lake with my family, my wife and my kid. We ended up catching like six or seven bass each between me and my kid. So not between, together. So 12 total probably. Six and six-ish. My wife caught a crappie, so that's nice. Uh, next day we took the G4 outdoors, big old 19 foot tracker out with Randy, my wife and my kid. Kind of started off a little crappy, you know, had to get a new battery for the boat. But that's what happens, the battery's like five or six years old. So that's what's gonna happen. But so Randy was kind of bummed out, so we did a little bit of uh, fishing, crappie fishing, weren't catching much, caught one, got one in the boat. My son was like, let's do some cat fishing. Like, dude, it's kind of hot. 30 mile an hour wind, it's gonna be tough. So we did some channel cat fishing and we got on them. We caught so many channel catfish. Randy actually caught two pretty, pretty nice when it comes to the world of uh, channel catfish. They were pretty big fish. There it is, there it is. That's what you were looking for. Nice little four and a half, dude. I'm giving it four and a half. I kind of want to give him five, but I'm not going to, but we're going to eat this guy. He's coming home and he's getting cleaned up by me. Yeah, baby. But yeah, it's a good weekend. Week number 10. Is the cable still out here or not? I'm betting it is. See it over there. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, it's already 10 o'clock in the morning and I can't get this goddamn thing to start, dude. FS94R, dude. It has issues. My other ones had issues too. The 94Rs had issues when they get super hot and in the sun, man. Even on my open trailer, I would have trouble. But Randy's got the 111 or the 110 and that thing fires up constantly. But dude, this 94R never wants to start when it's hard, dude. It's so frustrating. I'll tell you what, dude. It's hot. That 94R, when it's hot, sucks. I hate that thing, dude. It is such a headache to start. The is 111s, it, the 110s, that shit start, starts up just fine. Is it a steel thing? I don't know if it's a steel thing or what, man. I haven't had that problem with every steel trimmer I've had, but the 94 series, for sure. I wonder if it's a two stroke thing. Uh -huh. I don't know. It is annoying. It's super annoying. It's it's a it's a giant headache. Sometimes when it's so hot, the only way I can get it to start is if I choke it. That's that's what's insane about it. Choke, just grab a hold of it, choke slam, dude. Undertaker style. He said he was gonna do it, he's doing it! A choke slam! Oh, oh my god! That's insane, dude. Andy says he's never seen anyone go through trimmer string like me. It's stuff's like candy though, like when I'm out there weed eating, I'll just take some off and start chewing on it. Cause it's really good. 
the black diamond is the best i like this it lasts a little bit longer it's it's chewy and it has good flavor but it lasts longer but i don't i don't think i go through too much trimmer string like i don't know a, a big roll a week i don't know how I don't know a big roll a week you know I, I got a question I've been wondering too you know the the pieces that fall out of here when you're when you run out of string and you're left with this much that comes out and flies off in the yard do you guys leave those in the property as like a like you're marking your territory or do you pick that up and throw it away territory that way when other people come around they see that there's black line in the yard and they're like ooh, someone's been taking care of that yard because i know when I, this is all i use is black diamond so when i go into other yards and i see the green and orange lines laying around i know that they've had another company there uh these uh speed feed heads from amazon just generic these look just like the steels but they're not this has lasted me three years. It's been a really good head. It's getting laid out right here. But you still have this whole pad to bounce off of. It's been a really good head. I like I like this. I think you can get those on Amazon for like $24 for two of them. To where the regular steel one is like shoo, $40 for one. Hmm. I'm gonna go eat some more trimmer string. Alright, we are at a 36 backyard last week we got the these are usa blades these are extreme high lift we got them last week i told them to go ahead and order them let's see if there's a cut difference on the mower now between your regular neutral you know skag blades and these extreme high lifts i think it's going to give the mower a little more suction but you're also going to notice it when you engage engage the pto heavier blade but let's go cut this backyard and check it out So first things first, as far as actual cut quality goes, before it would kind of be bushy and shaggy and leave a little bit of stragglers, the cut quality is way better with the extreme high lift blades. Cut quality is better. You still can't go full deck width. When I was mowing deck to deck, instead of overlapping a little bit, it would still leave a little mohawk section next to the deck. So you still have to overlap like a couple inches to get this thing to cut everything. But uh, 
way more suction, way more vacuum. You can hear it. You can hear the way this mower sounds compared to how it sounded before. Cut quality definitely better. Still some sort of issue somewhere with it not cutting full deck width. So we gotta figure that out. Yeah, the old truck is reading 102 degrees for the interior temperature gauge. The inside of this trailer is so hot, dude. It's like a pizza oven in here. When I was talking earlier in the year about installing a couple fans in here, that's becoming a need way more than a want real fast. So I was just talking to them, and by them I'm talking about the really weird, strange people that watch my stuff for some reason. Oh, them. Yeah, those guys. Um, fans for the inside of the trailer becoming a need way more than a want <laughs> real fast. Not so much for me having airflow, but dude, those machines need some kind of cool down between some of these properties when it's hot like this. It's insane, the dude. The mowers don't even want to start. The mowers are having a hard time starting, but we need we need to find some fans and get some fans in there. Some sort of airflow moving cuz You know what? Leave, leave a leave, leave a comment down below if you think that an AC unit will cool a trailer like that down. I mean, I think an AC unit's excessively expensive for what it is. I think they just need some air moving to cool them down, man. Some sort of air moveature, if you would call it. There's no air movement in that trailer. <laughs> Even with those vents you installed on the side, I kind of want to get in there and ride in the trailer while it's <laughs> driving. Go at it. I <laughs> guarantee it's just hot and stale and no air movement, dude. <laughs> I think we need some fans. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for me today. I am melting, dude. I'm sweating in places I've never even sweated before, and I have little prickly things all over me from weed eating and stuff and that. Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button if you have not. Hit the like button if you're first time watching the video. Hit the subscribe if you want to, but I'm gonna get back to work. I wanna wipe my eye real bad because it's burning because of sweat, but I don't know what's on the shirt right now, so I'm not doing it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Cutting clean here in the back of the mic. Yeah. I've been leaving them stripes so they shine every night. Huh? Yo, I know you really want it. If you want to come and get it, you can stop and hit subscribe or you can even pop a like. Cause I know you think you're good, but if you really think you're great, and yeah. if you really want to battle, you can stop and just debate like yeah. all the things you'll ever say. Cause I'll be all up in your face and yeah. I can do it every day with hands full of these grenades. So be careful with your mower, even with your blower. There's people out there looking just as.